So for the starting mass of the hydrate experiment, you weighed out uh, about two grams. Let's say we out exactly 1.95 grams. And then you heated up your hydrate to evaporate off the water and you got a final weight of say 1.76 grams of your anhydrous salt. Well, let's take a closer look. Uh, if you had something like calcium sulfate and um, some hydrate of that, we're not sure which one. You know this is solid. If you had heat, you're going to wind up uh, breaking this intermolecular bond there so that you have the anhydrous salt plus water, which goes into the uh, which gets evaporated to go into the atmosphere as water vapor. And uh, to really see what's going on, the best thing you can do is create a mass, molar mass, mole table. And we can fill it in step by step. Well, we know the mass of the uh, calcium sulfate hydrate is 1.95 grams and we know that the anhydrous salt which is what's left behind after we remove the water with heat is 1.76 grams so we can just subtract these two and we can infer that the amount of water that evaporated is 0 0.19 grams Next thing we can fill out is, well, not the molar mass of the hydrate because we're not really sure what this X is yet. However, uh, we can determine the molar mass of calcium sulfate. That's easy. It's going to be around 40 plus 32 plus 16 times 4, which is 64. And we get that from the periodic table. Uh, if this is uh, given to five significant figures, then, then we should use all of them. But uh, just for this demo, I'll just um, round to the nearest whole number. And um, what you're going to wind up getting is something uh, in the ballpark of 136 grams per mole. And uh, water, I know, is... Uh, Oxygen plus two hydrogen atoms, that's going to be around 18 grams per mole. Again, going back to the periodic table, oxygen is around 16, and uh, hydrogen is around 1. Now, one thing we also know is if we want to find mole, mole is mass over molar mass. And uh, this is a pretty important equation. Uh, you'll be using this a lot in general chem. Whenever you convert grams to mole and mole to gram. So with that, we can get the number of mole of uh, anhydrous salt we're left with is going to be 0 0.0129 mole and uh, it's a division problem so we need to have three significant figures and uh, 0 0.19 divided by 18 is going to be 0 0.011 mole of water two significant figures and um, that's really as far as you need to go um, in terms of finding x because x is now going to be just this guy here, 
I should have wrote an earlier, actually. Um, after it kind of uh, dissociates from the anhydrous salt. So what we can do is just take 0 0.011, the number of moles of water, and then divide it by 0 0.0129. And let's see what we're left with. So you get mole H2O over mole calcium sulfate. Zero point zero one one divided by zero point zero one two nine. That's going to equal zero point eight five. And that's a coefficient. You might think, well, it's a fraction, um, but in this case, that's okay. What you're going to want to do is uh, look up in Wikipedia what the most common form of the calcium sulfate hydrate is, and if you choose, let's say, a different hydrate, um, like copper sulfate hydrate then uh, you're going to want to see what the most common form of that is to see how close you are in terms of your um, coefficient for water. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you do two trials, you can do this for each one and then just take the average of the two. If we wanted to complete this table, it would be pretty easy because remember, we're starting out in terms of a molar ratio of a one to one uh, calcium sulfate hydrate to just the anhydrous salt calcium sulfate. So if we have 0 0.0129 moles here, we must have started with 0.0129 mole over here. And if we know that this x is now 0 0.85, well that means that this x here, once it was uh, binded to the calcium sulfate, 0 0.85. So what we can do is um, solve uh, for molar mass if we know mass and mole. And um, let's see. We know mole equals mass over molar mass. That's our golden uh, equation, right, to, for converting moles and uh, mass or, or moles and grams. We can solve for molar mass. We just bring this up here. So molar mass, and then bring the mole down here, equals mass over mole. So this molar mass is going to equal, uh, of our original hydrate, uh, 1.95 over 0 0.0129, and that's going to equal around uh, 151 grams per mole. And we just fill that in here. Alternatively, you could have um, used the coefficient of uh, 0.85 and multiplied it by 18 grams per mole, then just added to the molar mass of the calcium sulfate. Should have gotten around the same answer. And that's how you complete mass, molar mass, mole table. And uh, that's how you determine the coefficient of that water with that limited information that we were given in the beginning. Thank mm -hmm. you.